Okay, good afternoon. It's uh, 4.39 p.m. Um, I am doing a different vlog. I, I started to vlog this morning, um, which ended up being late. I'm going to give you a summary of what went, what transpired today and how I got to the point where I made some decisions. Um, I didn't wake up until 12.30 this morning, so already I've been woke up late. I didn't sleep well last night. You can see I'm still in my pajamas. I have not really gotten out of bed and done anything today. Well, scratch that. I did do a lot today and we'll get into that in a couple of minutes. Instead of seeing my normal vlog, you're going to see one long video and I'm going to not make it all that long, but I'm going to highlight the key points of what happened today. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying, I woke up at 12.30 this morning. When I looked at my phone, because I always check my phone first thing when I get up in the morning, I noticed I had a text message from Best Buy regarding my iPhone 7 Plus status. I looked at it and discovered that the iPhone 7 was going to be delayed. So... In doing so, I decided I would call Best Buy. It took me three tries to finally get a hold of somebody um, to talk to, and I was on phone for more than an hour and 15 minutes holding before I talked to someone at Best Buy. Best Buy said, yes, my order was placed on the 9th. I did pre-order the iPhone 7 Plus. I did have a shipment date of the 16th. However, they told me that Due to an unforeseeable delay on Apple's part, the phones wouldn't be shipped until mid-November. When they told me that, that was totally unacceptable to me, and I canceled my order for the iPhone 7. I canceled it because I am not... I, I wasted all of that time pre-ordering it. I've already paid to have it shipped to me today, the confirmation said it would be arrived today. It did not say anything that it was going to be delayed. I then called AT&T to see if I could get my hands on a iPhone 7 Plus today. Unfortunately, with this release from Apple and getting the runaround from several different stores, nobody got the Apple 7 Plus in uh, the 256 gigabytes. It had sold out so quickly that they are now on back order, and they're on back order. Um, some of them are through mid-December. In doing so with that, I made a couple of decisions that I will get into in a few minutes. Um, you will also notice that I'm not vlogging about the all-clad uh, delivery today because at 4.42... I have not gotten it yet. Um, UPS has not delivered it, even though I did have a scheduled delivery of um, 2 to 6. Well, it's not 6 yet, so it should be here within the next hour. You will see that tom on tomorrow's vlog. I'm not doing that today. Getting back to the iPhone 7 Plus, I was so pissed off with Best Buy today, and I have noticed on their Facebook page that I'm not the only one. A lot of people are incredibly upset on how Apple handled the release of this iPhone 7. It also makes me wonder if the 7 is really worth it. After I talked to AT&T, I decided I will order reorder the iPhone 7, but this time I'm not going to do it through Best Buy and I am not going to do it through AT&T. I am going to order it directly from Apple. Um, whether I do it today, I don't know. I need to make a couple of decisions regarding that. I did find out from AT&T, who is my cell phone provider, that I can pay the phone off either in full or make payments. Um, if I had my way, I will pay it in total full. 
with my husband's strike looming, uh, they're taking a strike vote next week and maybe going on strike mid-October. I may end up totally waiting and not doing anything with the iPhone 7 right now. I think I can get my 6 to last me for a while and make the decision. Um, it just, to me, is not worth the aggravation that I had today. Um, I have really been pissed all day. And i that's why you're seeing this vlog right now in its entirety with no um, changes. So I'm going to get this vlog up in the next... Probably, it'll be up by 6 o'clock. That's what my day was today. Will I ever buy another iPhone? Yes, but from now on, I will only buy it through Apple. I am not going to go through a third-party store to buy my iPhone 7 Plus. Um, I will let you know when um, I do order it, and it's probably, like I said, I doubt I'm going to order it today. I'm probably going to wait a month. Um, but I'll find, I'll figure that out. There, there are a lot of things that I need to do. Um, and, and think about. So, that takes care of today's vlog. Um, I'm sorry it wasn't that much more interesting. Nothing really went on. Like I said, I got up at 12.30. It's 4.45 right now. Um, I've been on the phone most of the day between Best Buy, AT&T, um, Best Buy, my husband, AT&T again, getting things straightened out. I do have an upgrade eligibility back on my phone, which um, was credited back once I canceled the order. So I'm happy about that. Um, we'll see what happens in the future. Tomorrow's vlog will be definitely a reveal on the all clad um, pieces that I got from Bloomingdale's if they're delivered today. I haven't checked um, the status of the delivery just because I've had too much other things go on. Um, the rest of the weekend should be short, should be quiet. Uh, not sure about next week. I'm going to figure out what's going on next week. We'll figure that out. So thank you for watching today's vlog. I'll see you tomorrow.